Hi friends, happy Saturday. It is late, it is about noon. I actually am just now going to the grocery store. I did post a bit of an update on my Facebook group as well as on my Instagram stories that my husband unfortunately was admitted to the hospital yesterday. For those of you that may remember from last December, he actually had a surgery where they put eight stents in his body to help with blood flow. One of those stents is completely clogged, so they have to go in and do their best to clean it out with a surgical procedure. So he's in the hospital just waiting for the actual procedure to try to clean that stent out and get his flow back. It just makes his leg really sore and swollen. So he went into the hospital yesterday, and it doesn't look like he'll be out until probably Monday. So it's just been super busy, and this morning I had a client I had to take care of, and then I went to the hospital and hung out with my husband for a little while. So I'm just now getting to the grocery store. You're probably wondering where the heck my grocery haul video is. There's a reason that it's late. So it is coming. I'm actually gonna do my grocery shopping now, head home and film and edit and get that uploaded at some point today. So just be patient with me. It's a little, things are a little misconstrued and a little bit crazy right now. So just hang in there, but my grocery haul is going to come your way today. So I'm gonna head in and do my grocery shopping and I'll be back to show you my grocery haul, my meal plan for the week and meal prep. I am back on track after the holidays. Thank Thank goodness. So let's head into the grocery store. So here is this week's grocery haul. I went to Fred Meyer, which is also a Kroger store. I needed a decent amount, not as much as normal, just because I do have some leftovers from the planning prior to Christmas, but lots of produce. I'm really craving good food. So let me show you what I picked up for the week. Fred Meyer had their Diet Coke on sale for 12 packs for $10. So I picked up four 12 packs of Diet Coke for my husband. You'll see in my goals video what my plan is concerning Diet Pop in 2020. So four 12 packs. Also, I had a coupon for Annie's snacks and I've heard that these birthday cake bunny grams were really good and um, they were. They're absolutely phenomenal. They are so good. They kind of melt in your mouth and they have real delicious birthday cake flavor and the points are not bad at all. Great sweet treat. So I picked those up. Light sour cream. This is for a couple of recipes and then we like to just always have sour cream on hand. I grabbed two dozen eggs. One of the Eggland's best. I've been wanting to try these eggs. It's been years since I picked up eggs, Eggland's best. So I grabbed a 12 pack of those and a 12 pack of happy eggs because we are completely out of eggs and I've also been craving hard boiled eggs. So extra eggs for that. I grabbed some unsweetened coconut from the bulk section. This is for an upcoming recipe. Again, if you only need a small amount of something, I highly recommend going to the bulk section. It really truly saves you a lot of money and you don't have the waste of product that you're not going to use. So I picked up about one cup, which is what my recipe calls for. So save some money there. I think this was less than a dollar. So win-win. Also some light soy sauce just because I was completely out of soy sauce. The Equal Peppermint Mocha was on clearance for 99 cents. So I picked up one more just to have on hand. You guys know I love this. It is so delicious and coffee and it's zero points. So if you want like that afternoon coffee pick me up, but you don't want to spend a bunch of points, this is great. It has tons of flavor. So delicious. And then Spice Island Spices were buy one get one free and I was actually after time so I went ahead and grabbed time and because they were buy one get one free I picked up some chopped or snipped chives only because I never have chives when recipes call for them. Plus they're actually really really good on top of like roasted potatoes. So buy one get one free great deal. And then some maraschino cherries this is for an upcoming recipe. And then I grabbed some water chestnuts. This is for a dinner recipe coming up as well. I always buy them sliced. It just basically saves you an extra step. And then wheat checks is for a recipe I have coming in meal prep. You guys, my meal prep is going to be amazing. So I can't wait to share it with you. So the wheat checks are for that. Golden raisins are also for meal prep. Holy moly, are raisins expensive? I had no idea. Four over four dollars for this box of golden raisins. That's insane to me. And then I also picked up some reduced sugar craisins because I needed those for also a meal prep recipe. Jimmy Dean fully cooked turkey sausage crumbles. I'm obsessed with these. And I was gonna let you guys know these freeze really, really well. So if you find that you're not using them all in your recipe, throw them in the freezer. They freeze 
beautifully. So pick that up. Also some extra lean ground chicken. This is the 96.4. This is for a dinner recipe. This again is expensive too. It's just crazy to me, but I got the 96.4. It was the leanest my store had. Of course, my favorite center cut bacon. I actually need this for two recipes. One or two slices is only one point of this bacon. And this is the private selection center cut double smoked. Private selection is a Fred Meyer or a Kroger brand. So you do have to pick it up at that store but it's so good. And again, you can't beat two slices for one point. I also grabbed a Jenny O oven roasted turkey breast fully cooked. This is for a recipe. This makes your life easy and it warms up great. It's and it's delicious and it is very, very low points. And then I picked up another pack of my Incernio's mild Italian chicken sausage. You know, I love this. The smart points on this are stellar. So I needed chicken sausage or turkey sausage for a recipe. I will often sub this chicken sausage when a recipe calls for turkey sausage because it's way less points. So just kind of a little pro tip there for you. And then I picked up two bags of the private selection petite white baby white potatoes. This is for a recipe and this was on a great sale plus I had a coupon. So I think I paid $3.50 for both bags, which is a fabulous idea or price, not idea. Actually, it's a fabulous idea and a fabulous price. And then I've been craving salad. Like I said, I've been really craving good food. So I'm going to have this for lunch today since it's almost lunchtime because I've been gone all morning with my husband. This is the Dole Premium Kit Endless Summer. I'm going to figure the points for one serving in the whole bag because I may just have the whole bag. I just have to see what the points are. But it's so good. It has Swiss cheese, sunflower seeds, romaine lettuce, red cabbage, summer vinaigrette, herbs and spices, artisan style croutons and carrots. It's really, truly good. And for a salad kit, it's one of the lowest points. I know that for a fact. So, so excited for that. The rest is produce. Red grapes for the week. I still have clementines or the little cuties left over from last week. So this will be the other fruit for the week. And then I picked up some red leaf lettuce for a dinner recipe. It called for butter lettuce, but they're, the size of those leaves, the whole leaves are never big enough for me. So red leaf lettuce it is. Two avocados just to have on hand to add some extra healthy fat to a recipe or my breakfast. And then a bunch of green onions. Also not shown is just a case of water. So this is my grocery haul for the week. Let's jump right in to my meal plan and my meal prep. So let's jump into this week's meal plan and what I am doing for meal prep. Of course, I'll be using my carry-all meal planner to plan my meals, but I'm excited to share with you guys that this one is just about done and I have officially received my new meal planner. Let's do the big reveal. Look at how gorgeous this cover is. So this is one of the new covers from carry-all. I'm not going to reveal the whole meal planner until I start using it, but it's gorgeous. So definitely pick yourself up a meal planner to help you stay on track in 2020. So let me show you quickly what's in the meal planner because this one basically has the same components. It's just a little bit different design. So when you open up your meal planner, there's a spot for you to write your name. And then just this beautiful quote, people who love to eat are always the best people from Julia Child. Love that. There's some tabs to keep you focused. So there's a resources tab, and that's where you're gonna jot down your favorite meal planning blogs and recipe sites. This is great if you wanna just make remembrance of some of the favorite things that you've seen online or on YouTube. Really quick, easy way to jot it down. And then there's also the inventory tab that has a freezer inventory, a pantry inventory, and a spice inventory. So you can keep track of what you have on hand and expiration dates, great tool. I still need to do this. It's just been a little crazy busy, but this is still on my plan to do. And then of course there is the meal plans tab. We're gonna come back to that one. There's the gatherings tab. This came in very handy over the holidays. This is where you will plan any type of gathering. So holiday event, birthday, you can figure out what food you need, desserts, drinks, kids, supplies. And then of course there is a detachable grocery list for you to take with you to the store. Seriously, a must, must have. And I love this feature in the carry out meal planner. And then lastly, there is the notes tab. And again, just another place for you to jot down things that you want to take note of. And then in the very back, I really like this as well. There's this cute two-sided 
pocket so you can put recipes in there maybe your weekly cards from your ww meeting whatever you want to store these pockets come in very handy so let's jump right into the meal plans tab so the first thing that i want to share with you is there is a monthly at a glance calendar this is great because you can jot down what's on your menu and you can do breakfast lunch dinner whatever you want to take note of and that way you can double check this the night before and make sure that you have all of the ingredients on hand and the meat pulled out of the freezer so it's a great way just to keep track of your meal prep at a glance so i love it i use it every month you'll see all of mine are full it really is a great tool and then each week you're going to have a weekly menu and you can see i've started planning out even next week but you're going to jot down what meals you're preparing and again feel free to do breakfast lunch dinner whatever you need to do to help you stay on track you're going to write those in the spots here with the date and then of course the detachable grocery list will take with you to the grocery store to do your shopping love it i mean you guys know i use this every single week so let's jump into this week's so here is this week's you can see my grocery list is missing because i just got back from the store where i used it so this is the week of 12 28 through 1 3 so we are in the new year my friends at the end of this week so today is an out to dinner day i will actually probably do something at home now that i'm home for the day just leftovers or something really easy or maybe i'll split my salad between lunch and dinner but I won't be going out. I'm going to be saving my weeklies. And then Sunday, tomorrow, I'm going to be making loaded baked potatoes. This sounds so good. I cannot wait for this. Monday will be leftovers because I go to Jazzercise in the evening. Tuesday is New Year's Eve, and we are actually going to a New Year's Eve party pending my husband's recovery. We may not be. And then we'll do leftovers again on Wednesday due to Jazzercise. And then Thursday, I'm so excited. I'm going to be making all-in-one burgers. These sound so good. I've been craving burgers. So I'm going to make one that's WW friendly and pair that with some veggies. And then on Friday, we're going to be having open-faced turkey melts. And this sounds so good. I'm so excited for these recipes. And then what I will do is on the back here of my weekly menu is where I'll plan out what I am doing for my meal prep for the week. So for this week, for breakfast, we are going to be doing pigs in a blanket pancake bake. This sounds amazing. You guys, it's sausage and pancakes and syrup and all the delicious things all wrapped into one so that it will be breakfast and of course you will be seeing my meal prep on monday so lunch will be chicken lettuce wraps i'm really excited about this too it's kind of an asian spin so i'm excited to have that very low points but very filling and then for dessert this week i am making rum raisin bars i thought tis the season right of the holidays and of new year's let's make something with rum and raisin so we're going to be doing a rum raisin bar so that is meal prep which you will see on meal prep monday on my channel and then of course this is my carry -all meal planner this cover is still available and then again this is one of the new covers for 2020 you can use my code here on the screen to get 10 percent off and free shipping you guys i highly recommend this it's a great way to stay on track plan your meals and be prepared so that you can be successful in the upcoming year thank you for joining me for another weekly ww grocery haul i hope you enjoyed seeing what i picked up for the week i'm very excited about my recipes they're all part of my meal plan that i'm offering over on my facebook group so if you are not part of my facebook group i highly recommend that you head on over and join us i do have a so sub description if i could speak meal plan service that i offer on my facebook group which a lot of these recipes are part of that super awesome i figure out all the points ingredients modifications everything for you so all you have to do is make the recipe so easy peasy and then of course i hope you enjoyed seeing what i have in store for meal prep that will be up on my channel on monday also lastly if you could just give us some nice thoughts for my husband and of course a couple other things if you're new i'd love it if you'd subscribe and join my youtube friends and family also give this video a thumbs up if you like it and of course hit that notification bell so you're notified whenever i upload leave comments down below and let me know what recipe are you most excited for thank you guys again so much for watching watching and also for your thoughts and prayers for my husband it is greatly appreciated Thank you guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.